Today I show you an unboxing of the crucial NVMe SSD drive T500 Pro. I bought this for my computer to be able to do some fast file moving and copying files. I hope this will last longer than my Samsung NVMe drive. The, the Samsung were a little bit more expensive and the crucial was cheaper, but I, I, the Seagate works for me in my computer. Samsung, I had some strange issues with it, so I'm kind of avoiding Samsung now. Those are a bit more expensive. And this is PCIe Gen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD drive. The Pro series, I don't know exactly. I guess it's about the speed and this is without the heatsink because by the time I decided to buy this, I had the version with heatsink in the cart on Amazon, but it was sold out. The heatsink version, it was, uh, the difference was was very less than 10 euro for to have the seat heatsink so that's a really great deal i got this arctic m2 pro m.2 ssd and i hope the size is actually correct so maybe this is the right size okay i got this for very so cheap like five or six euro so because i i wanted to get the crucial i was going between i was trying to decide between the kingston nv3 which was not great performance and the king the crucial the crucial p3 pro which was also, or P3 Plus or something like that, which was also not great performance. This was more expensive than both of those, but I decided I'll better get something that's uh, a more performance. The type of NVMe, the, the type of SSD on this one is much better than the other ones. I don't really know much difference. I mean, I don't think I would use this for such a long time that it matters, and I wouldn't do so many read writes to it, but this is one terabyte Gen 4, and Gen 4 is cheaper now because Gen 5 is already out, and my motherboard doesn't support Gen 5, so that's fine for me. 7,300 megabytes per second, and... That's a read up to. They always like to put a read there. Performance for gaming and content creation. Oh, that's for me. So I like how they start to market these things for content creation, also not just gaming. Yeah, I like Crucial. I have some memory for a laptop. I upgraded it before and everything was fine with the memory. The Crucial was really good. And I'm hoping this is also going to be fine. Crucial by Micron. So it's not, uh, it's not some small brand. Crucial is a really, really big brand. T500 Pro, Pro Series, PCIe Gen 4, NVMe. 2280 M.2 SSD. So I think it's the same. Yeah, the cooling, the cooling. Fins, it's the same size, so that's great. What else here? Origin Malaysia. Barcodes, identification for SSD, lots of things here. And scan for setup, I like it. There must be some, I, actually I don't like that each SSD, each company has its own app for the smart, for the SSD monitoring. Seagate has one, Samsung Magician, Seagate C2, Samsung Magician, and I don't know how these ones call them. So you have to install like three, four apps for, I guess it gives you a reason not to buy multiple brands and keep the same. But I was looking for Seagate, actually I wanted to buy a Seagate SSD, but they were, not available, I don't know why, and if they were available, they were pretty expensive. Blazing Gen 4 performance, meaning slower than the current generation. And um, accelerate gaming and content creation with Microsoft Direct Storage, I don't know what that's supposed to do. And backward compatible with Gen 3, doesn't really matter for me. And this is the same in multiple languages here. And that is through the box, you can see inside, I think that's the serial number of the drive, it's a QR code and the one terabyte information there. Yeah, it's a, here it's information about that, how one terabyte is not really one terabyte, and how you will see less when you connect it to the computer, but I guess most of us, we are already used to it.